good stuff right there. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Oh, man, I'm uh, making a little breakfast here. I gotta start eating better. The wife's been getting on to me about not losing any weight, and rightfully so. Um, I keep saying I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna bike ride more, and I really haven't. I haven't gained any weight, but I haven't lost any weight. So, I really do need to uh, put forth some better effort into it. Made the investment, bought a lot of eggs, and bought some other things, so it's time to do the right thing. Uh, you know, eating plain eggs is a little bit boring, so we got some sauce to kind of spice it up. I did get some burritos to make like breakfast burritos, but now looking at this thing, it's 170 calories a burrito. That's like 27 grams of carbs, so yeah, I guess I'm going to skip the burrito and just have some scrambled eggs and uh, salsa. Uh, I got a lot of stuff I need to do with some various cars today. I might try to spread it out over two days so I have some content for the channel. We need to go out and do some other things, so... Let me eat some breakfast and uh, we'll get to going on to the rest of the day. Oh, those eggs weren't bad at all. It was quite delicious just having some eggs mixed in with a little salsa. So if you're trying to lose some weight, man, that's a good way of doing it. That way you're just not like a bland egg taste. You know, I still feel a little bit hungry. But the thing is, you know, when you're dieting, that's the hardest part is... Uh, you know, you get used to eating bigger portions, so your stomach's bigger. So after a while of eating less, you know, your stomach will shrink down and you'll get used to it. Still going to finish uh, waxing the Camaro. I never, I did the uh, glaze the other day, but I never did the actual uh, wax. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and take the bike out and get a little bit of exercise today. Think of that beauty man she is absolutely shining look at her oh triumphant return from the uh, deer incident i think she's looking good good to go to uh, camaro fest of course it's not gonna look that good by the time i drive up there but i do remember there was a car wash i'm gonna bring a little of that uh spray wash and definitely give her a good a better wipe than i did last time so that way if anybody sees her in the parking lot, it'd be like, yeah, that, she's a sweet car. All right, uh, I'm going to let her sit out in the sun for a little bit, let that wax kind of cook in there, and uh, I'm going to go for a bike ride before it gets any hotter. can't begin to tell you how tired I am. It would be so easy just to climb in the bed and take a nap, and that's what I really, really want to do, but I've got to lose weight. I'm, I'm trying my hardest to lose something before vacation. And uh, so there's the bike. We're gonna go to trail and do some biking. And then on the, I think uh, I gotta watch the Trans Am. I gotta take some pictures of her. I gotta get her sold, gotta put some money in the bank. I know I keep saying it, but it's gotta happen. <laughs> I gotta admit, man, that heat did me in. Sitting outside here, waxing the Camaro, and then going out for a bike ride sucked all the energy out of me. So I went to, I fell asleep on the recliner, and then suddenly I crawled to bed. So uh, it's almost 6 o'clock. Uh, I really need to take pictures of the Trans Am, but she's dirty. But I think right now, while it's a little cool off, I'm going to go ahead and wash her. Might wash the SS2 because I need to put her away, but I do, I do want to do a video on her. I think that might be tomorrow's topic. Maybe it'd be the video on her. So I need to put the Camaro in the garage, move the SS back here for now, and then move the Trans Am so I can wash it. So how about a triple cold start? An LT1, an LS3, an LS1. Only here, baby. Only LT to W can bring you this.
this is always my luck as soon as I go to wash the cars and I know the camera it does this like auto white balance so it tries not to make things look dark but oh my god as soon as I start up the first car the wind picked up you could probably see the trees there and the temperature dropped and the sky is getting dark well, I do need to clean the Camaro. It's uh, pitifully dirty and I'm kind of embarrassed, but... Uh, I mean, it's not... I mean, all in all, it's not terrible. It's mostly... Oh, it's just some dirt right there. So, let me vacuum that and see if this doesn't blow over. You gotta get her cleaned up for... Cloud vest. Whoa, man, that's what I'm talking about. It got a little cloudy, it acted like it was going to rain, it got windy, and the temperature dropped. It feels absolutely fantastic right now. So I'm going to go ahead and give the uh, SS a wash, and then I'm going to go ahead and wash the Trans Am. So that way tomorrow I'm going to take some photos. And then tomorrow, I think, like I said, I'm going to do a video on the SS, like likes and dislikes. It's something I wanted to do a long time ago, but I haven't. So if you're interested in the SS, tune in tomorrow for that. Oh, man, I can't even tell you how nice this is. Like the humidity dropped like 20%. Freaking awesome. And I'm like looking on top of that tree there. It looks like there's two eagles, man. I think I need to go put the big lens on this thing and go see what's going on up there. Those are American eagles. I'm gonna like freak out. There they are. The camera's not doing a very good job focusing on something very small. I'll take a picture of it. From when I can see there are a couple of hawks, but it looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. Trans Am's gonna have to wait maybe later tonight, maybe tomorrow morning. I just, I don't have it in me to do this many cars at once, but check out the SS. Oh, look at how gorgeous she looks. Oh, man. You're looking about me or your car? Both of you. You're both beautiful. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, yeah, look at that. She's looking, so, ooh, so sweet. Damn, I love that car. All right, so I think tomorrow I'll video on her. I still need to watch the Trans Am. If I watch it tonight, I probably can't videotape it. But right now, me, the wife, and doggy. The wife ski. Yeah, the wife. Really? Me and the beautiful Mrs. to the W are yeah. going for a walk. Bye. Here early morning at the planet. Go ahead and get a workout. good workout today I did shoulders and back uh, thought I was careful but uh, maybe not lower backs kind of throbbing now a little bit but let's go home and uh, we'll talk about ending the vlog what better way to end a good workout and with a cup of coffee so yeah it's that time again to go ahead and wrap up the vlog hopefully uh, you like what I'm putting out there if I don't have car content really do try to make the everyday life stuff as interesting as possible so, oh man, guys, I just cannot get over how good this car looks. Oh man, I am so excited for Camaro Fest, and I can't bring you 
Uh, can't wait to bring you the news as to what's going on with the 7th Gen, the 2020 Camaros, and anything else I can find out while I am there. Hopefully, I'm really hoping this year just going to be a lot more the 1st Gens. That was my first car, the 69 Camaro. I don't know if I ever put that out. I may have once or twice, but I really have a soft spot for the 1st Gens, especially the 69 Camaros. Really looking forward to hopefully uh, seeing quite a few of those. Going to enjoy the trip with my wife. So, wrap things up. Thank you for watching. Please support the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And go ahead and give a thumbs up. This disabled veteran here is just trying to vlog about his life and love and passion of his cars and everything else. So, thank you for watching. And hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow for another vlog. Thank you.